All right, on ESPR, what's up, guys? It's Wilmington the Crane here. Today, I'm going to be doing my spoiler-free review of Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 1, Episode 5. Now, let's get into it. So, for those of you who don't know, Star Wars The Bad Batch is a recent 2021 Disney Plus original animated action series that's, um a spin-off of the CGI Star Wars The Clone Wars show and it's also um, canon to the uh, Star Wars movies um, so and so was the uh, so was the show that it, it's like spun off from which was which was the uh, CGI Star Wars The Clone Wars series. Anyway, so... In this episode... Um, the Bad Batch and Omega are, um, you know, continuing, like, on their little, like, quest to um, uh, get away from the Empire, which is trying to... Um, you know, just harm them and capture them and, like, terminate them. And they're also running from a bounty hunter in this episode, which, you know, adds a, adds a lot more, you know, conflict to the story, which is great. Um, and so they go to, like, this planet, and, you know, because they, like, need... They need information about the bounty hunter that's chasing them, that's after them. So they go to this planet and they find somebody who, like, is a friend of, like, one of their friends. And, um, they make a deal with this person where, like, you know, where, where, like, this was the deal. Okay, this was the deal between them. Um, so... The Bad Batch would, like, you know, go to... Well, they were supposed to go to, um, a planet and rescue a, um, uh, a child slave. Um... And bring that, that child back to, like, you know, the friend of their friend so that the uh, so that friend of their friend could return the child to um like one of one of its um relatives whom uh you know wanted like you know wanted to find this child and to free them from slavery and when they were to do that um the relative of this slave of this child slave was supposed to um, uh, um give the friend of their friend um like you know the the reward a certain amount of reward money and um, the friend of their friend told the, uh, Bad Batch, like, when they were making the deal, that they would, they would not only get information from this particular person about, um, the bounty hunter that was after them, but they would also get 30% of, you know, the re reward money. So, um, of course, the, uh, the Bad Batch accept this fee um and no they don't accept the fee they accept the offer they accept the deal and so a lot of the episode is dedicated to them um 
them like uh, going to this planet to rescue this child slave. So yeah, um, the Bad Batch and Omega are, you know, the center, the main characters of this episode. And this is a really fun episode. Is this as good as the previous episode? Um, no, but it's still a perfect episode. Every episode of this show has been perfect so far. This has just been a perfect show. It's been a perfect season of a perfect show so far. Um, I love the characters in this episode and in the show. They're all great, as usual. The members of the Bad Batch are great. And really likable. Omega is great. Really likable. And um, I still don't know how old Omega is. Like, and lots, of, apparently lots of other people have wondered how old she was too. Because when I looked up, when I was just like, yeah, how, how old is Omega? Because like, it's like, she looks like a 10 year old, but she like has the intelligence of like, I don't know, like, a 12 to 15 year old but then she still kind of acts childish childish sometimes and other times she's like acts really like you know like adult like i'm just like how old is this character so when i like i i, I was just looking it up and i on google and i typed in how old is and then like oh, omega from the bad batch like you know how old is omega from the bad batch was like one was like one of the most related top searches or whatever like that came up in like the little like bar thing underneath the search bar list 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 of like possible like related searches or whatever and so i looked it up and apparently nobody knows that hasn't been that information hasn't been released yet but if i were to guess i would say that she's between the ages of 10 and 12 Anyway, um, the action in this episode is perfect and great. The voice acting is perfect and great. The story is perfect and great and just really fun. And you know, all the little twists and turns, all the little twists and turns in this episode are perfect and great. And I just, I just really love this show, and I, I just really love this season, and I just really love this episode. Um, it, it was incredibly fun to watch, and it had a very interesting story, and I can't wait to see what comes next. Anyway, I'm going to give this episode a 100% out of a 100%, which is the equivalent of an A+. Like, subscribe, join the notification squad, I will return.